Hey, <laughs> Coda Bear. Hi, Coda Bear. We had a sleepover last night with little Coda Bear. Yeah, her stayed with Papa and Gigi. Yes, her did. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready for lunch. We're having lunch here today. And uh, Roman has not helped. I have sliced this French bread and seasoned it with butter and garlic seasoning. And it will go in the oven here shortly. And what's in this, uh, your cookie, baby? Uh, looks good. Uh, looks is not what matters. I know. Jen, I've been cooking all morning. <laughs> I haven't. I've been gone. One of us has been cooking. I had to go to tractor supply early. We didn't go to church again because this time we had Coda. And um, we had sleepovers. We had a sleepover. And we don't always have a nursery worker. And um, she's very loud. And very picky. Very what? Picky. Who's watching her? Who's taking care of her? Yeah, and I didn't want her to leave. You know, sometimes we don't have a nursery work, so then they call somebody in, and I didn't want to leave her. And I could have taken her to the front of the church, you know, to with us. But we just chose no. And what is this that you cooked? What is it? Tell them what you cooked. Do not get close to my face, because the last time you got close to my face, and I didn't hardly have any makeup. You can see everyone. Baby, I mean, you're pretty without makeup. I don't care. I could see it when I watched it. I could see, oh my God. I've looked at you since for 56 wrinkles. years. I've been looking at you 56 years. It's okay. Well, 56 years ago, I would have stood up against anybody. <laughs> well, tell them, don't put the lid on yet. Tell them what we got. Because once we start eating it, nobody's going to be able to see. I cheated on this. It's okay. We cheat. We cheat with our food. What is it? Yeah, this is chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. All right. I boiled my chicken. Boiled a chicken. I, I didn't use, I didn't make my own rice. You didn't make your own rice. That's, that's fine. But I always make my own rice. I know. But I didn't want to today. Because we babysit. So, that's good. I got eight, no. I got nine bags. Uh, Don't cut yourself with that can I throw in there. This. Okay. Let me see. Which is also Lexus favorite. Yeah. Lex likes urban butter. And he'll eat a whole bowl of it. But yeah. I took it. And then I put, oopsie, I put the butter. I, oh, I added my own onions and um, bell peppers, okay. red ones and green okay. ones. Okay, see, we, we was original with that. Our own onions. They come out of a frozen bag. Oh, well, Lord. <laughs> they come out of a frozen bag. It's okay. And then I've done garlic toast. Yeah. But I'm not through. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Get away from the camera. All right. Then I put in a can of cream of chicken soup mixed with one can of water. And I probably put, I bet, about a half a cup, maybe a cup of butter in it. Okay, that's fine. Then I use my chicken broth, because I did boil my own chicken. Right. Then I cut up the chicken, put it all in there. We put it in the oven on 450. I don't know how long. 30 minutes. I'm sweating, aren't I? No. I'm so hot, guys. It is hot. It's hot out here outside, too. Um... Anyway, so I put it for 450 and I'm fixing to put some cheese on it. As soon as Papa takes it, tastes it because I want to make sure the rice is not crunchy but not soggy. If hey, it's soggy, we're going to have biscuits or uh, something. Hand me a fork. Because uh, we can't have soggy. Give me, a, give me a spoonful. Give me a spoonful. I'll, t I'll test this stuff. So it needs to just sit for a few minutes. Uh, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Very good. Is it good? Yeah. I'm thinking it's going to be good in my mind. It's not, I just it's not sometimes, crunchy. like guys, this is so funny. 
I make the best chili. I, I make the best well, chili. Well, we're not going to give that recipe out till the day we do You can come in here, love. Come on in here, buddy boy. I was telling you about how you love rice. I'm going to let you taste this one. Because... Rice is a rice connoisseur, actually. Yes, he not. is. He knows all about rice. It's a little bit hot. No, it's not hot. A little bit hot, love. Touch your tongue to it first. What you think? It's really good. Really oh! good. All right. Okay. So, anyway, I, I make the best chili. It even won a contest, didn't it, at Tina's Chili Cook-Off? <laughs> well, you say you had no fault. And it won a cook-off <laughs> at our church once. So, one time I didn't feel like making chili. So I found this big family can. So I dumped it into my pot that I cook everything. I sprinkle the sugar because I don't use sugar in my chili. <laughs> Daniel and Lou were the first to fix their plates and I saw them whispering back and forth. And Lou, I heard Lou say, this has to be G's with chili. She wouldn't do that to us. <laughs> yes, I did. It's <laughs> on again. She cheated. <laughs> so anyway, I, I cheated on the chili once, but I will never do that again either. Guilt overwhelms me. What's wrong, hon? Uh, it's not on. Do you have your tie on? Well, yeah. for one thing, are you on board? Yeah. There we go. Yes, I had my toaster. A little oven. Toast is another yes, pan of toast. I love you. It's up the top. Okay. Lex just got up. Lex, you want to come in here? Yeah. Lex, you want to come in here? 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 Lex, you Four o'clock in the morning. Well, it's their summer, baby. It's their summer. I know. So they get to anyway, do what they want to do. Anyway, you want to show them what we did in there? Yeah, go on, Because um, I didn't like my table sticking out all the time, so I changed it, and then Papa got a fold-up table. I've, I've been awake. Oh, yeah, right. You've been awake. Yeah, I, I've been awake. I just have you to get your shoes on. You want to taste the rice real quick? Oh, it's the rice thing. Right here. See what, you're, see what you think. Connor loves rice too, but not quite as much as Lex. I think this is good. Lord. Taste it. It's not hot. It is hot. It wasn't hot to me. No, I mean taste it. Eat make it. it. Sure Eat it. Make sure it's not hot. There you go. Good. All right. They all pass the test. All right. All right. All right. I'll see y'all in a little bit. So. Well, no, I meant to this make sure it wasn't was hot. set more people. This was set more people. I went and got this table and these fold-up chairs. Those are the chairs she bought. Papa made the original table for yeah. me, and I wanted it was like twelve foot long, wasn't it? Yeah, ten or twelve. Yeah, it was long. It's ten now. Oh yeah, okay, it's twelve. It? Must be twelve. Anyway, it took up the whole room. But so it fit everybody. Yeah, better. We had benches. The benches were longer too. So I made it, I had him, I didn't make him. And he cut off two foot at each end. Two foot off each end, that's right. But now it doesn't have an overhang. Right, like so it's here. hard to it see. It took here. away the overhang because he cut it here and at that end. So I don't know, Daniel can sometimes. Well, I can sit here. I know how to do it. Anyway, that's. But this is going to give more seating. We'll keep the bench on the back wall here. The other bench I took out and stored in my storeroom in case we ever need it. What are you laughing uh, at? You can't have rice. But yet. I built this table. This is about the fourth table I've built over the years. The first table he made that was in the, our house that burnt down, and to the day it burnt down, Lester had done some geometry homework. Yeah. And the table wasn't completely set, and it, it had his whole homework paper, the numbers. Yeah, the indention. Indention. Indented and it was that so awesome. That when we had a house fire in what, 83? 90. Was it 90? 90, baby. Anyway. Good Friday. Never forget it. The burn, the burn up the table. Anyway, we hope this is going to set better. Uh, I think I figured about 12 people here. We sometimes have 14. Bree and them are not going to be here today. Her and Laramie are out of town. And Tina and Rob are out of town. 
So it should be plenty of room. And if we need to, we've got stools up by the island. And sometimes Dustin likes to sit in here with a TV tray. But anyway, we'll, we'll, work, we'll work it out. It's only what we have to do this like every three weeks. And then during the week, I put all this fold up stuff back in the store. Coming. One done. All right, my toast is done. Get another one. All right, I'm gonna try to get this. Soft glass here. All right. All right. I'll watch this one. Yeah, Oh, yeah. Garlic toast. I'm gonna cut this off for a while. Anything else you wanna say? Um, I wanna thank there's some people I haven't thanked for sending me things. And well, I had my necklace on. Mary sent me a real pretty cross. And um someone sent me some beautiful purple earrings. And I bought me a shirt special to wear with the earrings for church. I bought a purple shirt, but I tried to put it on and Jean said I was too fat in it. No, I never said it, that word. I never would have used that word. A little chubby around the middle. I mean, it said a little thick. Maybe he said thick. <laughs> thick. But it hurt my feelings. So I'm, I'm so have sorry, to baby. Wait a couple more weeks because I am trying to lose. And you're leaving tomorrow. You're hiring Kim and Levi for a three day outing. Four days. Road trip. Three four, nights, days. four days. Me and Hattie's in charge. We rented a beach house. We used our income tax refund. <laughs> <laughs> Kim and I split it. So we got a two bedroom beach house. And. All Levi's worried about is there going to be a Kentucky Fried Chicken close to the beach house. Yeah. Because he's got Kentucky Fried Chicken on his mind because he loves the commercials. And sometimes he'll just be sitting there like last night we were watching a movie. And he says, it's finger licking good. <laughs> he was eating popcorn, wasn't he? Yeah, but he was talking about Kentucky Fried yeah. Chicken being finger licking good. So anyway, um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Anna Maria sent me some tea glasses or tea cups, a set of these. Beautiful, yeah. And she sent Kim some and she sent Jamie some. So we're going to be having a tea party for you guys. So, tea party, yes. That's going to be exciting. Oh, yeah, sounds like exciting. Anyway, Papa is. He doesn't know this yet, but when I leave, there's going to be a list on the bar of things for him to do <laughs> while I'm gone. Yeah. He'll have four days to do these few little things. Uh, I'm sorry, they, uh, I may get busy with other stuff. You may not have... No, these are four things. You can do one per day, and they're less than an hour jobs. So, I'll let y'all know how that's going to go. I'm not going to wear a bitty boot now. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and wind chimes. Somebody sent me two sets of Betty. I mean, someone's. Yeah, they're, people they're hanging over here. That's not where they're going to stay. Oh, they're hanging not, on the frog right, right now. They're hanging on and the frog. And the other one, I just moved them to my bedroom because I had them laying on the table till he put me. Because I like my wind chimes there. I also have wind chimes in my room. So this wind chime here, I don't know if I've ever said, that hung over Lex's bed when he was a baby. Oh, wow. So. That was pretty old. And we always, Papa calls Carter the the Dat girl. Dat girl. She says Dat. D-A-T. Yeah, that's because when she was little and I keep her, I would go, oh, look at that. Look at that. And I'd say, oh, look at that. Look at that. And then look at that. And I would show her everything in the house. And so now she goes, Dat, Dat. Yeah, I called yeah. a little dat girl one day, and someone thought I was called a little fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's dat, D-A-T, dat. Uh, yeah, every time she says dat, I just I just beam inside because that was her very first word, and Gigi taught it to her just by showing her things in the house. That made me really happy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cut this off till everybody gets here. Okay. You don't uh, like my rock. A little simple dinner. <laughs> yeah. Kim and Lou and Dan. Gee. 
There's nothing. in the microwave. Breezy did show up. Laramie's here. Jake's here. Levi and all the kids. Got a crew. Muttons and beef. Why do you think it's called mutton buster? Lamb. Mutton is uh, sheep meat. Mutton is uh, sheep meat. But no, mutton is um, mutton is uh, sheep meat. I know, baby, that's what he's saying. The rodeo is on the mutton. That's for the kids' ride. Okay. What about lamb chops? You get lamb chops? Mutton chops? Have you ever eaten lamb chops? I haven't either. That's what happened when the French. No, but I've seen her. I've seen her talking one time. That's what happened when the French invaded England. They changed the law of the English. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. Mama, who's lamb chops? Okay. Lamb chops. Uh, I've never eaten any of it. Gio has Carly at the playground. And uh, I gave her her little book of stickers. She had stickers all over a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Dan, Tim, and Lou, and myself sitting out here on the porch. Uh, Bree and him done went home. <laughs> Buddy and Steph went home. And I think Steph's coming back. She borrowed my, my hedge clippers. I guess that's what you call them. And G and Tina in the cool, in the house, in the cool. I did me. Sitting here with a glass of tea. Dust. Yeah, let's go. All right, folks, dinner's over and everybody's left, and uh, you know what time it is? Nap time. It's so hot outside. We sit on the porch for a while and watch the kids play and and uh, Dustin playing with Carly and all of them out there, Gio playing with them. I mean, all the kids are playing. And uh, slowly they kind of drifted off and, and G said, it's hot, let's go in, take a nap. So that's what we're fixing to do is take a nap Watch a little TV. Who cleaned the kitchen? Huh? Who cleaned the kitchen? Oh, I cleaned it, baby. <clears throat> I didn't. I don't know who cleaned the kitchen. Somebody, good fairy. Good fairy clean. Put the bread all in the back in the oven and everything. Wow, that was awesome. A good, a good fairy showed up. I'm not sure who it was. Uh, Bennett may have done it. Yeah. All right, we're going to go watch TV and take a little nap, baby. Catch you guys later. Hope you like it. Looks like nap time here in this room. Jesus asleep. Shamus asleep. Bandit's asleep. <laughs> Kippy's asleep. I had no reason to believe that Mike was a spot. Hyde is asleep. <laughs> I think I'm the only one awake. If you recognize the gravity of your situation, you aided and abetted KGB agents who broke into a top secret facility installation in the United States.